Hey there again, Erica Swarthy Daisy here. Quick video on the top 10 Zoom event ideas. So jumping right into it, number one is happy hour. I recently attended a happy hour Zoom and what was nice about it is the host had icebreaker questions. She also asked us to share on camera what drinks we were drinking and what snacks that we were having. She also had a game set up, so it was a at-home scavenger hunt. So she listed different categories of items each round. So there were like four rounds. And if I remember correctly, one of the rounds included you going into another room and picking your favorite shirt and maybe picking an item off of the refrigerator that was like a magnet from out of state or out of the country, etc. Some additional ideas could be having one or two guests to make drinks live on Zoom for the audience as well as a few guests to make a snack that is nice for a happy hour. So for example, this is the charcuterie board that I actually made. I got the idea right here off of YouTube. So it's very easy. All you have to do is gather all of the different items from the grocery store, put them together on a wooden board or a slab or whatever you have at the house. And voila, you have a nice snack to go along with your happy hour drinks. The second idea is a tea party. I also attended a tea party on Zoom. During this tea party, we had tea trivia. We were able to show what teas we were drinking. We also did icebreaker questions and that encouraged dialogue. And we also had a mini fashion show so we were able to show off our creative headpieces. The third idea is a karaoke party. For a Zoom karaoke party, all you need to do is go to YouTube. You can look up the songs individually, but I recommend you create a playlist. All you have to do is search for karaoke songs. Then you can have the participants to submit the songs that they want to sing in advance, or you can give them time at the beginning of the Zoom when it first starts to submit those requests. Then as the host, once you look up the song, you'll share your screen with the audience and then make sure to check all of your settings for audio. I'll link a video down below that will give you some ideas of some audio settings so that the sound won't clip or you won't get echoing or anything while you're doing your Zoom karaoke party. Number four, a talent show. I was able to drop into a Zoom talent show and it was really nice because a lot of the people performing performed using live musical instruments such as pianos as well as guitars and we had singers and people to do poetry. So if you want to have your own talent show on Zoom, make sure to send out digital invites in advance, have participants to sign up in advance. Make sure to state the categories that you are looking for, such as singers, musical talent, poetry, etc. Number five is game night. I have since hosted a few game nights on Zoom. They are a lot of fun. I have another video that I'll link below that talks about different games that you can actually play on Zoom. But in this instance, you can play trivia, Pictionary, Taboo, and Charades. So Zoom game nights are a lot of fun. Number six is movie night. For a Zoom movie night, you can pick a movie from YouTube. You can pick one from Netflix or Hulu. And you can just stream it with your friends. Invite a few friends onto the Zoom. You can do themes. For example, if you want to do the Golden Girls uh, TV show, you can do that. Or you can do a movie. But whatever it is, you can have a lot of fun. Just open up the chat and let the fun begin. Number seven, craft night. Either you're a crafty person, you have a crafty friend, or you can pull up something on YouTube. You can gather a bunch of friends and you all can use items that are recyclable, or you can use items easily found at home, but you guys can get together and have a nice craft Zoom night. It's a lot of fun. Number eight, cooking or dinner Zoom. 
Here you can gather a bunch of friends, send out a recipe or a type of meal in advance, and everybody that is participating in the dinner can make the same thing. For example, if lasagna is on the menu, just send out the theme in advance, make sure everyone has time to gather all of the items, and you all create your own version of your lasagna for the Zoom dinner. And at dinner, this is your time to share how you made your dinner, how you made it unique. You can have icebreaker questions. You can just have general chat. But this is a nice way to keep connected with your friends on Zoom. Number nine, dance party. I have attended several Zoom dance parties. And let me tell you, they are a lot of fun. So if you want to have your own Zoom party, you can just have participants to submit a playlist to you in advance. You can invite your friends onto Zoom. You can share your screen using YouTube or Spotify to play your favorite party songs. I have also seen people go as far as hiring a professional DJ that plays the music remotely and all of your different friends will dance on their own Zoom cameras. It's a lot of fun, trust me. Number 10, Singles Mingle. This is another fun idea. All you have to do is invite an even number of male and female singles, and you can do a speed dating or mingling event of sorts. You can use online games to break the ice, and you can also use the chat feature to message individuals that you're interested in. So that's it. Those are the top 10 ideas for Zoom events. If you have any additional events that you would like to share, please make sure to share them in the comments below. If you like any of these ideas, let us know as well. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like the video, and make sure to share it. Once again, this is Erica Swarthy Daisy. Bye.